Hey there, how's it going? So that is the uh, old uh, port and Mykonos town there. I've been hanging out here for the past uh, week and now I am finally going to uh, see more of the island. This is my rental car here. Cute little uh, like bread delivery car, I guess. 30 euros. I'm going to uh, just kind of start cruising around uh, Mykonos um, randomly. I have a little map. I don't know exactly what I'm going to see. It is winter now. It is uh, the end of February. Actually, I think it is uh, March 1st. So it is, you know, cool, not uh, cold at least. Once the sun comes out, then it warms up a little bit, but uh, not enough to actually jump in that water. So this is going to be a different sort of a uh, experience of Mykonos in the winter as opposed to summer. I'm not going to be uh, swimming at the beaches or anything, but I will at least uh, show you this uh, beautiful island, show you some of the uh, beaches as well. I'll try to find a super paradise beach, check it out, see if it uh, meets the hype or not. Anyway, going to be a, a fun day of exploring around this uh, beautiful um, island of Mykonos in the Aegean Sea and the Cycladus uh, region of islands of Greece. And so here's a map of Mykonos. Here's the old port and Mykonos town. And so I think I am currently at Megali Amos. And then right here is Super Paradise Beach. Curious to see what that looks like. And then the roads don't go uh, all the way around the island, it looks like. But you can access different uh, bays and things. So we'll see what I can uh, find in the course of this uh, day of exploring. I'll show uh, the Megali Amos Beach here. Looks pretty nice, but I'm sure that there are nicer. Looks like there's sort of rocks and reef right there, and then the uh, water gets uh, clearer out there. All right, gonna keep on cruising in the uh, breadmobile. And so this is Corfos Beach. The water looks nice. The beach definitely needs a little attention. A lot of garbage on there and some uh, seaweed and stuff, but it has potential. That water right out there looks really nice. I'm uh, definitely curious to see if uh, Super Paradise Beach is like a whole nother level of uh, awesomeness, hopefully. And so I think that I am at Aios Ianis. Not bad. Now you can imagine how this would be completely different in the summer and high season. All these shops would be open. There'd be lots of people here. I'm sure this uh, beach would be cleaned up. It's gonna get more, you know, stuff on it from the uh, winter storms and everything. This is a nice one. Delos is a uh, small island that is right next to Mykonos and there are ancient Greek ruins there that I really wanted to see but the uh, boats aren't running at all now in the middle of winter so too bad but wow this water looks absolutely brilliant I should have actually brought my shorts it's uh, warm enough to go for a swim I bet the water is not warm though. It's coldish, not too bad. There's somebody taking a swim actually, over there. Actually, no, that is a bird. Another little beach right over there. All right, gonna keep on driving.
Paradise Beach is straight ahead here. However, that is different from Super Paradise Beach. So I will check them both out, see how they compare. And so here we have Paradise Beach and Paraga Beach down there. A lot of beaches on this island. And some classic Greek landscapes here. All right, let's see if uh, this is truly paradise or not. It's definitely under construction, under renovations or whatever. Doesn't look too bad though. Oh man, that water looks so nice. And it looks like they're building a new club here or fixing it up or something. And so I'm sure in the summer there would be music pumping from right here. Tons of people on the beach. It would be so hot you'd uh, just want to be going in that water there. It is definitely a Greek island paradise. Really nice, especially once everything's fixed up there. So check this thing out. Not sure what the deal is. If it's a bus that wrecked and they just left it here or I don't know. Philip 2017 Aria, Alessandro, Leonardo. And this is Paraga Beach. The 12 labors of Greek souvlaki. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by labors. And I guess through here is the way to the beach. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's nice, but I think uh, Paradise Beach is actually nicer. Yet again, that water looks just absolutely amazing, just crystal clear. So I thought that I would uh, throw out a few more um, Greek words. In one of my other videos walking through uh, Mykonos town, then uh, I said a couple of uh, Greek words. I learned a little bit of Greek because this is my uh, fifth time to Greece. I've spent altogether about six months traveling in Greece. This trip, then I am just on a uh, around the world uh, trip. I've been traveling for five months. And I've only been in Greece for about a week. I flew from Cyprus into Athens and then took the ferry out here. It's basically just kind of a uh, like a stop through. I wanted to see Mykonos uh, Island, you know, with all the hype and everything. And I figured this would be a good time to see it when it is not, you know, crazy uh, crowded, even though it's definitely a bummer to uh, not be able to go swimming. But, you know, it's winter. I uh, knew what it was going to be like. Was curious just to check it out. This is my 20th uh, Greek island, so I've been to lots of uh, 
uh, Greek islands that I would, you know, probably uh, rather go back to. More a matter of just that it's so touristy here, and I'm sure it just gets really uh, jam-packed, and it's the whole kind of crazy uh, party scene and everything. And also, I guess I should mention that uh, Mykonos is a popular gay destination. Just something to uh, keep in mind, whether that's, you know, what you're looking for or not. I don't really know what that means as far as if there are beaches that are kind of more specifically gay versus not gay. And if there are nude beaches or not on Mykonos, I don't know uh, exactly. You know, I haven't really been researching beaches since uh, it isn't good for swimming now. Definitely a very nice spot, though. And so as far as Greek words, I got a little distracted there. I'll just say a few of the uh, words that I said uh, before, repeat myself here. So, hello is yasas. That is the formal for hello. The informal is yasu. Yes is ne. No is ohi. Thank you is efaristo. And the reply to thank you is palakalo. And palakalo is kind of a uh, bit of a um, catch-all word that uh, has different uses, so you can say it in reply to someone saying uh, thank you. There isn't really a direct translation into English for the word palakalo, but you can say it as like a uh, sure go this way, like you're like you're welcome to come here. Um, it can be sort of excuse me, like I'm trying to go through here, pardon me. But also pardon me is signomi. And then the words for good morning, good evening, and good night are kalimera, good morning, kalispera is like good afternoon, good day and good evening, and then Kali Nita is good night. And so back that way was Super Paradise Beach and Pinky Beach, didn't see a Pinky Beach. But up ahead here it says Hora, and Hora is a uh, common name for towns on Greek islands. Like there will usually be a uh, town named Hora. I think it means capital. Oftentimes if it is the only town on the island, some islands are that small that they just have one town that it will be called Hora. There it says Anomera. That is a little village at the center of the island here that the uh, lady at the guest house where I'm staying recommended. So uh, going to check that out. So I guess this is Anomera flower shop tourist. Anomera. Ekaterini Dactylidi. I guess that's somebody's name, quite a name. And here's a map of the island. Anomera. Super Paradise Beach. Paradise Beach. Mykonos Town. Ornos. And so there's more of the island and lots more beaches out there. I think maybe I'll go down here to Ftelia, which is on the way going back towards Mykonos town. And so once again, you can imagine this would be a very different scene in the summer, in high season, with a lot more people around. This is interesting. Stairs going down to a little water faucet that uh, doesn't have a knob on it at the moment. And this is the monastery. Hello, yes, yes. 
Uh, is there a restaurant that's open? Well, there, yeah, like the Grill House. Which? I, yeah, but uh, you must go straight ahead. Uh huh. About 200 meters. I on, see. On your right. On the right. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Thank you. Well done. There is a little life in this village. Not a lot, but... Still looking for this uh, grill house. 200 meters on the right. I feel like I've gone 200 meters. So we have a sign here. Myconian plate. Homemade cuisine. Maybe this is what he was talking about up here. Nope, that one is closed. However, he said grill house and the door is open. So let's see. And this looks amazing. It's kebab with pita bread and tomatoes and onions. It is uh, 10 euros which is about $12. And the lady said that it is a classic uh, Greek dish from Monastiraki, which is uh, part of Athens. There's the Monastiraki Square. It is right near the uh, Acropolis and the uh, Parthenon there. And uh, so it is a traditional Greek dish here. Glad I found some lunch. Castro, a ancient castle, kind of uh, on the hill there, and then there's something along the road down on the other side as well, so I'm going to check that out and then drive down to that nice little bay down there. And so the monastery here is a nunnery from the 1700s that was built on top of an ancient castle, and I guess you can see the uh, castle ruins around the corner here. There you go. Hey guys, what's happening? And then I guess these are the remains of the castle and another little church there.
everyone. So this is Eftelia Beach, if I'm saying that right, which I'm probably not. And check out these classic Greek landscapes of this very, very sharp rock. It gets a lot sharper, actually. It's just very typical for Greece. Not a uh, good place to walk around barefoot. And another part of the beach here, this actually looks quite a bit nicer. The water is uh, clearer and cleaner looking. However, lots of garbage on the beach here. I wonder if that gets uh, cleaned up for the summer. And so I wanted to add a little bit here about uh, the prices of things. So one important thing to keep in mind is that Mykonos is definitely one of the, if not the, most expensive place in all of Greece. The uh, rental car there wasn't bad. It's only uh, 30 euros for the day, and that includes like tax and uh, insurance. I don't know if that is the low season price. The high season price could be uh, more expensive, certainly. But my room is uh, 40 euros. That is about uh, $50. And that is the low season price, which will definitely go up uh, in the uh, high season, probably by a lot, two to three times as much. Food is very expensive, especially uh, the restaurants down in the Mykonos town uh, where I started the video there, that little bay there, then uh, the restaurants there, you can easily rack up like uh, 25 to 30 euros for just dinner and a drink. There are certainly cheaper prices in the more local uh, parts of the island. For example, the place that I got the uh, kebab there, that was 10 euros. The ferry going from Athens to Mykonos was 29 euros. That's about $35. And so last thing then, I will go to a, a nice restaurant for dinner tonight and show you a bit more of the Mykonos town there and show you the uh, sun setting on the uh, old port there with a beautiful view of the Aegean Sea here in Greece.